Good morning, or is it afternoon? Not quite sure what time we're at. That's not one for tutorials due to the fact that I really don't have time, but Jane's in today, she's doing the video in, so I'm going to quickly try and show you the way I um, use my moulds without the, the, without the need to put them in the freezer, which takes far too long. If you're doing lots of buttons or you're doing cupcakes with a lot of things on and you want to get those moulds, you want to get your sugar paste popped out of your mould as quick as you can. So, pre-treat your sugar paste with sugar cell, okay? One level teaspoon for every 250 gram block, roughly. I always use sugar cell. People do use Tylo or Guntrag, but I think this goes off a little bit quicker. So, a little bit of sugar paste, and fingers are probably one of your best tools, so just pop your sugar paste in. I never use knives on these moulds, only for the fact that I really don't want to damage them. And I find that if you can use your fingers, then there's no need for moulds. Obviously, if I'd have prepared this little tutorial, I would have done my nails for you and put some cream on, but hey-ho, this is the best it's gonna get. So. Just doing it quickly, pop all your sugar paste in, make sure you keep it within the rim of the mould, just to make sure you get a nice, even finish, and out they pop. Very simple. So that's those three, nice and quick. So there's no colours here, I've not, not fancied them up, I'm just going to show you quickly how easy it is. So that's that mould. The same principle applies with... FPC mould, Karen Davis, even your sprinkly, your wood ones. You can do it exactly the same with that as long as you pre-treat your sugar paste. Good quality moulds work much better. If you buy cheap moulds that are not very flexible, then there's no way it's going to pop out. Okay, so you do get what you pay for. Again, another one there for you. You can see how easy and how quickly it is to pop them out and this is just pre-treated sugar paste that has already had the sugar cell mixed in with it. Again, no need for knives with these moulds. I do know with some um, people do advise you use a mould but with these there really is no need to pop them in the freezer at all as they do come straight out. I'll just do this one for you. Again, out we come. And again, if I just do this quickly, let me use a little bit of blue as I'm running out of white. Not pre-treated with Trex, with icing sugar, with any flour. They've been washed and that's just exactly as they are. I'll just do this one quickly. Pop it in the rows for you. And with this one, because it's got quite a lot of deep undercut, you do sometimes need a little scriber tool to just pick it out. But you can see how quick that was. And that was done. don't know whether you can get the angle of that. Not very neat because I did do it quickly, but that one is done just using different coloured sugar paste, which I will show you in the next video. Thank you.